Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Flame Leon at 2300 here, and today we're going to go over something very big in just a uh, moment here. But before we do that, uh, please make sure if you guys haven't seen my last video, uh, we went over the new raid Luanor from the Surge series. So if you guys have not checked that out, uh, check that out, please make sure you guys do. It's pretty cool. But anyway... Uh, for today's video, we're going to be unboxing something pretty big that's been out for quite a while. And today, we are going to be unboxing the one and only Beyblade Burst Ride Vorsix Climb Battle Set. Now, this is something I wanted for a long, long time. I really wanted the stadium, but you might be wondering, huh, it's been out for a long time, so why exactly have you not gotten this? Well... Uh, recently, I actually did manage to find us on eBay only for $11. Yes, you heard me correctly. Only for $11. M uh, mind you that this set actually cost $50. Uh, they kind of lowered it down now to $40. But I was like, you know what? I am not buying this for $40. No way, Jose. And I found the right price on eBay to get it for $50. Now, the box itself is kind of a little bent up and broken. As you guys can see in the front, there's like a crack in the front of it. But everything is secured. Everything is still in the box. And I was so happy just to get this for $11 on eBay. Plus, tax was like a dollar more, so like $12. But still, even, even with that at all and everything, uh, I am so happy that I got this for eleven dollars, and I'm not lying about this. I might put it. Uh, I might put a picture of me actually showing you that I got this for eleven dollars on eBay uh, for the final cut. Not sure yet, but I did message this. Uh, message this on Discord. I actually showed everyone on Discord that uh, I did get this for eleven dollars, so they can back me up on this. But yeah, I'm super excited to finally have this. Finally, finally able to have this only for eleven dollars. Like, who would not get this for eleven dollars? It's crazy. Uh, the only, like I said, the only thing I really care about is the stadium because it's like the anime stadium, which is awesome. And that's what I love about Hasbro sometimes when they do stadiums, or like from stadium sets, that they make it anime accurate, which is awesome. That's cool. Uh, instead of getting like the Bailey Burst Standard stadiums, you know, of course, you know, that's the, sta that's the stadium you want to use. But I do love to see these anime accurate stadiums, especially the Vortex Climb one because it looks awesome. And plus, as you guys can see here, there are two modes that you can do for the stadium here. So that's awesome. Uh, again, I really don't care much about the bays. I can care less. I have them already. Uh, of course, they're downgraded too anyway because of Hasbro. But yeah, so this is the front of the box as you guys can see. If we take a look at the side here, right, it says climb and attack. So there's like a ramp system that you use and speed up the battle because it goes down the hill and then probably can drop down to victory here uh, because of the speed. You can actually drop down faster and probably hit the bays harder here. And then, I don't know if there's anything on the other side. Oh, it just basically tells you what you get. Of course, you have the two bays, which is the Prime Apocalypse here. And I believe Judgment Dragon. Yeah, Judgment Dragon and a nice gold version, which is pretty cool. But again, I really don't care for them because uh, they are downgraded a lot here. And then you get the two uh, launchers. Again, no, nobody cares about that. And then the Vortex Climb Bay Stadium here, which I am super excited to get. It's awesome. Take a look at the back again. It shows you everything that we have here. Uh, the stadium itself. Again, you can see like there's a huge crack uh, in this box here. So, uh, yeah. But, yeah, it shows like how the ramping system. You have the brink. You have the uh, battle axis here uh, where somebody can actually go in here to speed up faster. Now, uh, this stadium too, we did use it one time in... Um, my Bailey Day Flay, and I think I got it on tape. I'm not sure. But one person's bait actually got stuck here, and it, it wind up him winning because of his stand and everything. So that was actually pretty cool, too. Like, there's just so much things you can go for the stadium, which is awesome. And then you guys can see up here, there are two ways to uh, battle here. You can either put the ramp on or take it off, uh, depending up to you. And then, of course, on the other side here, we have the bays. So you have Judgment uh, Dragon here. It spins right, balanced type, apparently. Comes with a very old disc, too, as well. As uh, I don't know much about the drivers themselves, either. But I think it has three for run time and two for hang time. I, I think that's what it that's what it means. I don't remember uh, how it works. And then you have the spin right with the Prime Apocalypse over here. Again, the Prime Chip. Uh, prime, yeah, the Apocalypse Chip. The Prime uh, Layer there. And then, of course, you have like zero. I think that's zero. Yeah, that's zero. And then the actual uh, driver for it. Yeah. So without 
uh, for our dude, let's actually take this out the box. I really want to take it out the box. I don't even care about, uh, you know, the base and everything. So I'm going to take it out the box for you guys. We're going to show it off everything with the stickers on too as well. So let's get that started. Alrighty guys, so we managed to take everything out of the box as well as put the stickers on apparently the top piece here because that's the only thing that has stickers. But wow, this stadium looks awesome. I can't wait to honestly do some Beyblade battles and you know test this out because I just really love the stadium. I don't know. I I played it a couple times before and I just really love the stadium so much. Even though it has a weird gimmick, it doesn't really have any pockets or anything, but it just looks so awesome. Again, uh, I really don't care much about the base that we have here, but we'll take a look really quick. So right here we have the Prime Apocalypse uh, Rise Bay here. So you guys can see now there's this little weird piece here i don't know why they have that like that and of course it doesn't have the gimmick that it's supposed to have because it doesn't have that uh you know that infinite uh um burst lock that it could have uh like in the regular regular uh prior apocalypse but yeah pretty much this is how it looks on the outside and here's the inside if you guys can get that qr code it's very hard to look at I don't know if you guys are able to get that at all, but that is very hard to get because <laughs> it's so dark. Maybe if I lighten up somehow, um, you know, during uh, the final cut, I'll probably see if I can do that for you guys. So you guys can really try to get that QR code, but it's very, very hard to get that. But yeah, and then it comes with a zero disc, you know, disc that we have seen countless time, time again. And then we have the driver right here. Now this one's supposed to be like the uh, reboot. Uh, driver as you guys can see but yeah doesn't have the rubber or anything it doesn't have the mechanic that's supposed to be having anyway the mechanism that uh, reboot has but yeah that's pretty much how the bay looks like all together as one just like so and of course it has no metal so again this is just really a bay I don't care about at all and then we have the judgment dragon here looks very nice and gold. I got to say that much. That it, This is actually a cool color design that they gave this. Right? It looks pretty nice. Here's the chip again. Oh, you know what? I think I could just do this. Yeah, that's what I forgot to do. Okay, I'll do that again with Prime Apocalypse so you guys can get that QR code. But yeah, there's the QR code for Dragon right there. If you guys ever want it. I think a lot of you guys might have this already anyway. But hey, if you guys don't have it, there's the QR code. Again, here's the inside of it. It looks very hollowed out. <laughs> There's no rubber or anything on it. It just looks so bland. And then, look, we have... I think this is Tornado? I don't remember what this disc is called because this is such an old, old disc. But I want to say it's Tornado because it has a T on it. And then we have this driver here, which, honestly, I don't know what it's supposed to represent at all. So you guys can see. I want to say, like, keep or something, but I don't know if that is correct at all. But, yeah. Let's get a uh, Prime Apocalypse one more time so I can take the chip out for you guys so you can get that QR code uh, just in case if you guys want it. Yeah, there you go. Right there. Now we can actually get the QR code for you guys uh, if you guys want it or, you know, probably a lot of you guys already have it. So I'm not sure. But yeah. And then we have the uh, nice and lovely stadium. Now there is a QR code that I'm going to see if I can try to get it for you guys. It's very much on the bottom here. I got to lift the stadium up. I don't know if you guys are able to get that. Let me see if I can zoom in on my camera. My phone here so you guys can get that. It's going to be very hard to get. Let's see. Maybe you guys are able to get that QR code. But if not, I mean, you can always look it up on YouTube or anything. There's a lot... A lot of uh, places you can get the QR code. And plus, again, this is an old uh, stadium that's been out like for a while now. So, you know, you probably have seen this unboxing already. But yeah, then we have the stadium itself here. So now we have it uh, here with the ramp. Uh, we're going to first test it out with the ramp. And I'll take the ramp off uh, just to show you guys how this works. But I just like it. This has this big center circle in the middle, right? And then you have this middle piece here that the bay can just really circle around and drop down fast. Which is pretty nice. So let's actually test out Judgment Dragon and uh, Prime Apocalypse uh, by themselves with the ramp on. So let's give it a shot. I'm going to do Prime Apocalypse first. Ready? 3, 2, 1. Go ahead. And as you guys can see, it just goes up the ramp, goes down the ramp, and just goes very hectic around the stadium. But it's actually pretty cool. I actually like the whole premise of the stadium that this is a ramping system and stuff. Even though it honestly doesn't do that great, you know, with battles or anything. It just, it's just pretty cool. It's just pretty fun. 
uh, you know, to have things like this. And I think that's what Hasbro tries to get with, is that they like to have fun things, even though it's downgraded to a T, uh, that they don't do this, you know, the same as, like, the anime or, like, Takara Tomy. But they like to have that fun with these couple things here. You know, just the uh, price point itself, too, as well. It's just a little bit too, uh, too much, I would say. But, yeah, there's Prime Apocalypse for you. All right, let's try uh, Judgment Dragon this time. Okay, let's give it a test run. Ready. Two, one. Go. Okay, just, and wow, look at that. It just burst it on its own. Isn't that crazy? Yay. And that's another thing, too. Like, just the uh, way how they make the Rise products and stuff, they just burst so easily. It's not even funny. As you see, like, it, it just hit the wall and stuff. and didn't even, like, hit any bay. And it just automatically catoed itself. That is crazy. But, yeah. Let's see how uh, a battle against these two can actually work now. I'm going to give it a shot. And then we'll test it out with the, uh, without the ramp, too. Uh, that's another thing. So, let's give it a shot. Let's test this. Ready? 3, 2, 1. Go. That's pretty much what they do. They chase each other around in circles. And then, yep. Of course, uh, Hyper Spirit Rays don't do that well with Stanima at all. <laughs> That's normally how it works. Alright, let's try the other way around. See how it goes here. Ready? 3, 2, 1. Go. Oh man, I couldn't even like get a Prime Apocalypse on in time before it's the animal just ran out there. <laughs> Alright, let's try it again. I'm gonna see if I can try to get Prime Apocalypse faster. 3, 2, 1, go shoot. Go shoot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, at, look at that. Chaotic, man. Just chaos. Chaos right there. It's just so crazy. My goodness. And I know one of the pieces actually went behind here, so yep. Gotta get this all the way. It's one about this. I might, <laughs> it's even hard to get it out here. Alright, there we go. Okay, we got the disc out and everything. But yeah, the base just bursted here. This is kind of a stadium that you're going to need two people to actually like launch the base together because it is pretty hard to launch one after another. But yeah, let's let's also give some sparking bays a turn here. I want to see how well sparking bays work here. So let's Let's try the other two that we got uh, before in the Random Booster Volume 24, which was the King Helios one and the Super Hyperion. So let's uh, give them a try here. Let's see if they're able to do good in the stadium. Who knows? Maybe you're going to see some wackiness. I know that for sure. But yeah. Ready? 3, 2, 1. Go shoot. Go shoot. So, doesn't necessarily get all the way up to the ramp. You're going to have to need a bay that has that speed to get up there. But, yeah, there goes uh, King Helios with that win. I want to know if Super Hyperion can actually make it to the top by itself. Let's see. I'm just very curious uh, what can happen here. Unless we need a, a part that has, like, you know, like a ball shape or a slope. Who knows? It, it did one time, but it, you guys can see it scrapes a lot on the stadium. That's just no good at all. But yeah, it just it just really much scrapes a lot there, which is which isn't the great uh, the greatest honestly. Let's try to put Jet Wyvern and uh, Lucifer the end to see how well they do in the stadium too. Just for one more showcase against Sparking Bays. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. Go. <laughs> Lucifer at the end might be able to get up there. Who knows? But right now, just not doing that and just destroyed, uh, <laughs> just destroyed Jet Wyvern there. Let's see. Probably Lucifer at the end might be able to get up there because of the Drift Driver. Let's uh, give it a shot. Let's see how how it does uh, with that. So ready? Let's put on the launcher. Three, two, one. Go shoot. Went up there once, but oh my gosh, it just really didn't do that great at all. There, my goodness, but yeah, I mean, even though uh, the stadium it's a little bit awkward, especially for you know, not bays that are like rise, not rise bays, 
Uh, I still like it. Honestly, I still like it, even though it doesn't work in favor. So let's actually take this off and see how it works in the other mode this time. All right, so now we have it on the other mode. Again, let's try uh, Judgment Dragon first. See how it spins now in this mode. Three, two, one. Go ahead. So here, honestly, uh, it reminds me of the, I guess, the vertical drop. I think that's what they call it because it has like one like circle on one on one side, one circle on the other side, as you guys can see. So it kind of reminds me of that. So, I mean, that's cool. Again, this stadium, we're getting like two stadiums in one instead of just one stadium on its own. So I guess that's actually pretty cool. Let's try with uh, Prime Apocalypse now. Ready? Three, two, one. Go ahead. Yeah, as you guys can see there now, it gets on the top. It stops on the top and then drops down slowly there. It's pretty weird. So if a standable type bay gets on the top here and stays there, I think that would be pretty good uh, for it. And then, of course, you also have these like little ramping still here too as well. So I wonder if a bay goes really fast and goes on that ramping part and gets to the top to attack down. That would actually be pretty cool too as well. All right, let's do a test battle with these two guys really quick. Hopefully they don't just burst, you know. This look, it does look like it's they're a little bit more controlled on this uh how the stadium is right now. So let's try it. Ready? 3 2 1. Go. All right, Oh my goodness wow that was crazy that was super crazy i don't know if i saw that correctly but one of the pieces literally flew into the camera i gotta sit that in slow motion because that was crazy oh my goodness wow see and again like this is what i like sometimes about the uh burst not the burst products uh the hasbro products is that they actually like make the base burst which they're supposed to do you know, not like sparking and stuff. It, it's so hard for base to burst nowadays. You know, hopefully in Dynamite Battle, they'll change that. But at least, you know, even though they downgrade the base for the uh, Hasbro products, at least they still burst. They, at least it's still fun a little bit, as you guys saw there. All right, let's do one more. Let's, this time, let's have Prime Apocalypse launch first. Three, two, one. Go ahead. All right, we got to burst. Ooh. Strong attack, strong attack, and wow, okay, yeah, that was pretty awkward, Prime Apocalypse was about to lose by Sanima, but then when Dragon hit Prime Apocalypse, boom, it burst it, and then Prime Apocalypse burst it right after, that is crazy, my goodness, alright, let's take these guys out, I'm gonna take them to the side, let's have some burst phase, uh, not burst phase, but some, um, what do we call it, sparking base, actually go into the ring, so let's see, let's have, uh, Belide Ragnarok and uh, Brave Valkyrie try to go in the stadium this time. See how they work. All right. Ready. Three, two, one. Go shoot. So now we have more of a stand type and a tag type. Go shoot. So yeah, as you guys can see here, the battles can actually, the base can actually dish it out more in uh, the way how the stadium is right now instead of the other one. So I'll say, if you want to have, like, Sparking Base go at it, I would say have them use this kind of mode for a stadium. But if you have, like, um, Hyper Spear, then use the other mode. All right, let's try a different one. Let's see. Hmm. I'm trying to see who else can we actually have uh, go in here. So, you know what? Let's try some Surge Base. I want to see the Surge actually go in it. So we're going to have uh, Super Hyperion and the King Helios Surge Base uh, duke it out in here. Because I know they're going to go pretty fast around the stadium too. So I want to see how well they do with this. Alright, ready? 3, 2, 1. Go ahead. Go ahead. There we go. Super Hyperion for the attack. King Helios is moving around. Alright, alright. Yeah, they're just going at it like that. And okay, not bad. And it looks like... Yep, Super Hyperion takes that round there. All right, let's do a couple more. Let's see. Let's get another Hyper Spear battle going. Let's have the Tack Leviathan here and the, uh, I think it's Poison Cyclops. I think it's what we call it, Poison Cyclops. Uh, have these guys go against each other. Another lefty versus righty 
uh, sparking base, a sparking base, <laughs> I wish, uh, rise base here, ready, three, two, one, go, go, Right, okay, they go on neck and neck. I like how one is changing from the one end to the other, and they just swap. All right, who's gonna take it? Looks like Leviathan is doing it, and it looks like oh no, Cyclops actually took that one. Okay, that was pretty crazy. All right, awesome. Okay, so I think I'm just gonna end the video here because normally we're just doing right now is just looking at the stadium rather than the base or anything else. But yeah, I was super excited to still actually have this. And again, I did not want to get this when it was first fifty dollars, forty dollars. I still thought was too high. Eleven dollars though, well technically twelve dollars, but twelve dollars though, definitely my price to uh, get this. But yeah, I mean it's still awesome all around. Uh, has this new. Uh, cool little gimmick that it has with the stadium and I just actually love it. So yeah, another stadium to my collection You don't know how many stadiums I have and plus especially that new stadium that's gonna come out for dynamite battle, too Oh my gosh, there's just so much stadiums. I have in my house. I'm telling you guys you're gonna see uh, In the Beyblade Dave play. I'm gonna bring a lot of stadiums my zero G stadiums my regular burst stadiums this stadium We got so many stadiums but yeah, I just love it, guys. Well, anyway, this is Flame Leone2300. Please make sure you like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Uh, make sure you guys also join my Discord server. We're at 80 members, as well as uh, follow me on Instagram. My uh, link to my Instagram is down below, so you guys can, uh, you know, uh, keep in touch on what videos I'm going to do or what videos I'm going to be posting. So you guys might want to follow that just in case, too, as well. And with that being said, hopefully you guys enjoy the rest of the day. Take it easy, everyone.